ahead and jump into another 49er mailbag video as you saw here on our Thursday live Q&A or later on, depending on when you're watching it. All the subscribers were asking questions, and I'm here to answer D-Man. He says, should the Niners trade up to try and guarantee Farley or Sertan thoughts? I don't think you would have to trade up for Caleb Farley. I think you have to trade up for Patrick Sertan. I think Sertan is for sure going to be gone by the 10-11 area. Now, if he's not, great. I think the question is, though, how much better or worse is Sertan than Farley? Like, if the Niners think Sertan is only a little bit better than Caleb Farley, then you don't even need to trade up. Just take Caleb Farley there at number 12 and save your draft stock to go ahead and pick other people in later rounds. But if they think the gap is wider, like I do, then maybe you do go ahead and trade up. But I don't think it's so wide that you would just have to have Patrick Sertan. I think J.C. Horn or Caleb Farley both would make a lot of sense. I'd take either one of those at 12 if you know for sure Sertan is not available. David Sech, the Niners draft Kellen Mond. I'm not big on Kellen Mond. I, of course, used to live in Texas and do a lot of stuff. Obviously, going to Baylor, you know, we have friends who go to Texas A&M. And they kept telling me every year Kellen Mond was like the next great quarterback at Texas A&M. They've been saying that since Johnny Manziel. And he, he really wasn't. I mean, he was he was good. He wasn't bad. Texas A&M, best year in a Jimbo Fisher. But I, I'm not big on Kellen Mond. I don't think he's going to be the next great quarterback. He feels like – um. Who's that Tennessee quarterback? Uh, D- Dodd, whatever his name was. Uh, D- Dobbs, that's right. Dobbs was the quarterback out of Tennessee. He feels a lot like him where he'll get drafted somewhere, but I don't see like a bright future. Now, 10 years from now, you can go ahead and, you know, freezing cold t- uh, takes tweet me on this, but I think I'm right. I'm not big on Kellen Mond. I'd rather Mac Jones or Kyle Trask. John says, we get Kyle Pitts first round, Kyle Trask second round. Geez, you want to make the re- remake the Florida Gators in San Francisco? You know, I like Kyle Pitts, and I think he's going to be great, but everyone keeps mocking him, like, way inside the top 10. I think there are better more better players at bigger positions of need. Tight end is, like, our least position of need. They want to re-sign Jordan Reed, and obviously George Kittle staying there. I, I just – I I don't see them taking Kyle Pitts in the first round, and, I mean, maybe Trask in the second round, but you don't have to pair the two because Kittle is a better uh, tight end than Kyle Pitts is currently. Jeremy Lin. What if it's actually Jeremy Lin? I mean, that'd actually be kind of cool. What if it was actually Jeremy Lin? What was uh, what's the very most you're willing to give up for Watson to the 49ers? Great question, Jeremy. Um, you know, this is tough. I think the most I would give up is three first round draft picks. My big problem right now is I can't give up Bosa or Warner, and I keep saying that that's what it would cost. I think it would legit take two first round draft picks, Bosa and Warner, to the deal, or three first round draft picks and Bosa or Warner, right? So one or the other. And that's just too much. Now, if it was three first round draft picks and you could, you just felt really good about Deshaun Watson, you're like, you can definitely go to the Super Bowl and you keep your star players, then sure, go ahead and do it. I think that'd be a good move overall. I just can't part with Bosa or Warner. And so my absolute most is three first round draft picks. Also, follow me on Twitter quickly, at Real Thomas Mott. Shameless plug, you see it below you right now. At Real Thomas Mott is the Twitter handle you should be following right now. Now, I'll ask you guys the question. Fill, fill in the blank. I would give up blank. That's where you come in. First round draft picks for Deshaun Watson. It's got to be at least more than one. If you just say one, then you know where you go ahead and get Deshaun Watson. But I'm curious. I would give up blank first round draft picks for Deshaun Watson. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I give up three, but I would not give up any of our stars. I, I, I decided I want to keep Bosa and Warner. They're too important to our defense and too good to go ahead and give up, in my opinion. Three is the most. I would not get four is way too many. Like the Rams are screwed for like the next couple of years. They have no draft picks. For me, three at most, that's where I would go. Um, let's go ahead and get here with Roddy, who says, who's leaving, Mullins or Beathard? Yeah, I don't really know. I, I mean, you'd think they want to keep Nick Mullins because Mullins has a lot more starts underneath him than Nick than a, a C, CJ Beathard does, but they did bench Mullins and go with Beathard later on in the year. I think it'll be just up to who wants to be a little bit cheaper. You know, let's take a little, a little friendly discount because both can be free agents and both can leave and both probably want to go ahead and go other, other places to get shots at playing. And so it's up in the year. I take Mullins. That's just me. David says if the Cowboys don't franchise tag Dak Prescott, should we throw a bag at him? I don't know if they can afford Dak Prescott. He wants like $40 million a year. I got to look at the cap space money again. I think currently they couldn't. Maybe they could if they made some more moves. But listen, I like Dak Prescott. I think Dak Prescott's a lot better than I thought he was going to turn out to be. I think Dallas eventually goes ahead and just re-signs him. I think we just get that out of the way. I think there are not enough quarterbacks that make sense for Dallas right now. I think the Cowboys can be pretty good next year if they have a you know a healthy Dak Prescott. That changed everything when he went down with a season-ending injury. I think it'd be a little too expensive, and they'd roll with Jimmy Garoppolo over Dak Prescott for the cheap, just just the price of it all. If uh, if it was just me, Hero says, "What 49ers were roster? Geez, what would the 49ers roster look like in 2021? Are you want like a full prediction? How about this? There are our new cornerbacks. I think they're going to re-sign one. 
probably Jason Barrett, and then they're going to draft one. I think those are two things that we can almost you know feel very confident about. I think it'll probably be Jimmy Garoppolo as the quarterback. I think Jalen Hurd will be healthy. That'll be helpful at wide receiver. Got to figure out safety with Tart, but overall, it looks very similar to what it is right now, just a lot healthier, and that is uh, – that's uh that's a good deal overall. I'm looking for that, right? Okay. Next one here comes from uh uh well actually what's the next one here? Oh, here we go. How about this? Longest touchdown on Super Bowl 55. Which team has it? Kansas City or Tampa Bay? Just longest overall. Now it's easy to say Tyreek Hill here, but I don't know, Brady might have some magic. I'm I personally think that Tampa Bay is gonna win this game, so I'll say Tampa Bay. But what do you guys think? Longest touchdown in the Super Bowl. Who gets it? Let me know down below in the comment section right now. And while you're at it, you might as well just go ahead and bet on the Super Bowl and do it with our friends at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash 49 bet. Use that promo code Niners125 for 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. You put 100 bucks down and then use the promo code Niners125. That flips right over to 225 bucks, which you could you know, bet on the Chiefs minus three and a half if you want to. Or can bet on the over under. I hey, listen, there's some rain in the forecast. I'm going under right now. I take my chat sports bet US money and I would go straight to the under. I would hammer the under right now as it's uh 56 and a half, which is a lot. I think this is guaranteed to be the under. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Now, there are some other prop bets you guys can jump in on. I mean, you can bet on Patrick Mahomes, you know, rushing for a touchdown. You know, plus 255. That's a pretty good bet right there. Brady gets the first touchdown in terms of a run plus the Bucks win. You could be you can go thousands of dollars if you were to get that one right and then the one that i am very curious about first song in the weekend's lineup what do you guys think blinding lights i feel like that's too easy plus 150 for blinding lights maybe it is maybe it's not but that of course is one of the fun prop bets you can go ahead and jump on another fun thing we're doing here is extending our jersey giveaway yes our jersey giveaway is coming back or at least going until kickoff of super bowl sunday all you gotta do is be a new customer for bet us sign up chatsports.com or i bet use the promo code put your hundred bucks down Place a bet on the Super Bowl, wherever you want. And then just, you know, screenshot, prove to us that you went ahead and did this by emailing us, 49ers at chessports.com. And we will send you either the Kittle or the Bosa jersey. I mean, I, I might take the Bosa. I mean, Bosa really looks pretty good, but that's just me. But go ahead, again, email us, 49ers at chessports.com to redeem your jersey. We'll get your information, your size, you know, large, small, whatever it is, your address. We'll ship it out to you. Of course, you got to sign up. New BetUS customers only. More questions here. A few more. Jose. Jumping in on a question here, he says, what? What would it take to get the Jets pick? Number two overall, a lot. It would take at least two first-round draft picks and probably a player. Moving from 12 to 2, 10 slots into the number two spot is a lot. I don't think the Jets are going to go ahead and trade that pick. I think they're going to take the best player available and a player of need. It could be a wide receiver. Very well could be the best offensive lineman in the draft. I think the Jets stay put, but it would take at least two first to go ahead and move up. Alex says, you think we need another wide receiver? No, I don't. I like the two young guys we have in Debo and Brandon Ayuk. I think Brandon Ayuk's one of the best young wide receivers in the league. He was overshadowed by Justin Jefferson a little bit too much, but I'm a big fan of, of course, Brandon Ayuk. But I think they're going to have Jalen Hurd back, and that's the expectation. Richie James Jr., maybe they re-sign Kendrick Bourne. Who knows? I don't think they need another wide receiver. Maybe get one in a later round, but definitely not early. That is, uh, that's just my opinion overall. Who am I? Okay, how about this? I am getting ready to watch some film on your favorite, favorite draft picks. I want to get studied up on all the draft picks that you think could be coming to San Francisco. Name an NFL draft prospect I should watch more film on. Let me know who that is down below in the comment section. I've got a lot of the first guys knocked down. Maybe some second or third round draft picks. What do you guys think? Name an NFL draft prospect I should watch more film on. Let me know down below right now in the comment section. And of course, I mean, if you if you love the San Francisco 49ers, I mean, this is the place to be. Your one-stop shop for all your off-season free agent, draft news, trade news, whatever it is. Make sure you guys are subscribed and click the notification bell because everyone who joined the live Q&A or just got this video, you know, showing up in their, in their uh, subscription box early has the notification bell clicked. And so you guys should have that clicked as well, the way you're notified whenever we go live. Byron Butler says, what center shut what center should we try to get in free agency? You know, I don't really know. Everyone keeps saying Alex Mack, who's going to be a free agent from the Atlanta Falcons. He's too old and too injured. I would not resign. I would not sign Alex Mack. I I need to do some more research on other free agent centers, apparently, because I don't really know who um, is available. Corey Lindsay is available from the Green Bay Packers if they let him go. I mean, that's he's one of the better centers in the National Football League, but it's more if Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay lets him go. I just think people keep saying Alex Mack, and to me, Mack is too old, and I, I just, just wouldn't go there overall. Greg, what up, Greg? What are the chances we pick up Tyrod Taylor instead of Jimmy G? 
where is Tyrod Taylor? He's a charger right now, right? He's going to be a free agent. I, I wouldn't take Tyrod Taylor over Jimmy G. Got to remember, if it's a quarterback that's almost as good as Jimmy Garoppolo or maybe just as good, they got to take at least a year to learn the system. Or Garoppolo took some time to go ahead and learn the system. I'd rather have Garoppolo already knows the system than a guy like Tyrod Taylor, although I do respect Tyrod Taylor's game. I mean, he got his lung punctured last year. That's what happened. I forgot about that. That was brutal. Jeez, it's like, goodness gracious. Don't stab me. Trainer, crazy overall. What chances of it happening? I, I, I don't see it happening. Um, is Bosa ready? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I need to go ahead and text him and ask him. I'm just kidding. I don't have Nick Bosa's number. I wish. Nick Bosa watched this. Just, I'll, I'll tweet me, right? I'll tweet you back. Um, all, everything we keep hearing is that he's on schedule. So he's not ready yet, but he is on schedule to go ahead and return for OTAs and mini camp and training camp. But that's, uh, that's about all you can ask because he had and the brutal injury. It takes time. I think everything we've heard is that it is on track. Um, it's flame says, you think the Texans would trade Watson for Jimmy? At, no. no, 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 not a chance. They would not do that trade Two first and Jimmy Garoppolo wouldn't get it done. I would do that trade. You would do that trade. I bet everyone watching right now would do that trade 100%, but now Texans wouldn't do it. There's just no way. There's no way Houston would do that trade. Two one NC Dorado. What up big boy? We always get those. Yeah, you come once a lot. I appreciate that. Why would you draft? Uh, Landon Dickerson center and Trey Smith right guard to our offensive line. I don't think we need two of them. I think the offensive line played better than what people thought last year. I think the big focus is re-signing Trent Williams. I do think they take an offensive lineman at some point in the draft. Maybe it's at 12. Rayshon Slater out of Northwestern is really good. Uh, Sewell, the left tackle from Oregon. There are a lot of options there. Maybe you go interior offensive line later on in the draft, but I don't think you need two of them. Michael, or sorry, David says, sign Marcus Williams. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if the Niners are going to have enough money to go ahead and do that deal. Michael says, I was so afraid to give up three first when we have a history of not hitting in the first round. Solomon, Foster, for example, Bosa doesn't win Super Bowls. Watson does top five defense without Bosa this year. It's a solid point. That's why I said I would do the three first round draft picks. I just wouldn't do three first and Nick Bosa or three first and Fred Warner. Cause I think those people, those are important players when you get to a Super Bowl that need to make big plays to win a Super Bowl. I mean, they don't win you Super Bowls, but they get you pretty darn close. Watson, you're right, does win you the Super Bowl. I would do the three first, but I would not give anything else. Ramon says, any news on Trent Williams? There's been nothing. We reported, not we, 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 we spoke about a report in week 17 about him, you know, having discussions. But I, uh, I have not seen anything on, uh, on Trent Williams. Domo has a good question here. He says, how much do you think Trent Williams will get re-signed for? Man, that's tough. I got to think about that. $10 million? I think at least he's going to want to get paid like one of the top left tackles in the National Football League. We knew this whenever they traded for him last offseason. They gave him that restructured deal at about $8 million a year. I think it'll be double digits is where I'm going to go. I don't know how high. 14 15 might be a little bit too much, but... It's going to be a lot. I mean, they're going to ask for a lot of money overall. And so uh, we'll see. But everything we keep hearing is that they are trying to go ahead and trade for or, or to re-sign him. And so that's good news. But no news recently was your question. Jojo, Joe G, Joe G. My name is Jonah. Jonah, what up, man? And like Garoppolo uh, might be good, right? And what do you think our record is going to be? I think Garoppolo is still a very good quarterback. And I think they're going to go ahead and keep him. I would say the record next year, and this is early, at least 10 wins. Now, brutal division. Could be nine, but if you stay healthy, this roster can compete with anybody in the National Football League. Nine or 10 is where I would go. It won't be 13 or 14. The division is too good. The Rams getting Stafford is scary good. Kyler Murray another year. Obviously, Russell Wilson, whoever they draft. Uh, I'd go 10 wins at the most, nine, eight wins at the least. Um, Brandon Sheriff's free agent. Oh, yeah, he is. I forgot about that. Yeah, Brandon Sheriff's free agent as well. There are a couple free agent centers. Maybe I'll do a free agent center signing video later on in the offseason. I mean, we have plenty of videos coming up, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. Again, make sure you guys stay subscribed to youtube.com forward slash 49ers TV because we're going to go ahead and uh, do plenty more videos there as well. That is it for mailbag questions right now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this edition.